All right, guys, I know I've been promising you for over a year now that I'd give you a chicken coop tour. So today I'm gonna to give you a quick overview of our chicken coop. This was all built by reclaimed wood that my husband has pulled out from other construction jobs. We started off with six chickens and ended up going to 12. At this, at this point, we do have 10. We have six nesting boxes. We have three on this side, three on the other side. We hung lights this uh, Christmas and I just wanted to leave them up because it looks so pretty. Um, in the evening we have our barn lit and our chicken coop lit. Today we are not letting our chickens out because we're heading out on vacation. So we have two little roosting bars here for the daytime. Chickens kind of like to hang out here. I always freed my chickens, little uh, scraps and seeds from our garden. My favorite part about this coop is these little windows here that my husband pulled out of a job that people did not want. I have a cute little sign there. And we have two 10 feeders that will keep our chickens fed through our vacation. And we have a couple buckets here that we have hooked up to a irrigation line with an automatic timer so they'll have plenty of water. We do have our neighbor coming to check on them and refill their buckets as needed. We have six nesting boxes. We have three on this side. And we got one in there. This is the back of our coop. We have an easy clean system along with a deep litter system, um, which allows us to only clean our coop out once every couple months. We just go back in here and fluff up the wood chips. We just do a thick, thick layer back there. Um, we do have two rest, uh, nesting bars there and I have a little flop out door that allows me to sweep everything out. Here are our nesting boxes. We've got a few broody hens. Here's our deep litter. And here, we've got our two resting bars up here. And what we would do different is we would put some shims up here on the top shelf because our chickens roost up there. And of course we have poop that comes all along the edges there. Um, when I have some time, I will definitely wipe that off. We have some more nesting boxes over here. I was telling you guys how we have an easy clean system. All you have to, hello. <laughs> All I have to do is plop this down. There we go. And scoop it out. It's a super easy way to clean our coop. And I've got all my chickens. Hi. We're wanting to see what's up. What am I doing? I'm showing your coop off. <laughs> so it's real easy to clean. Um, I just throw that down and scoop it out into the golf cart and then we compost it. Over here, we have a couple more nesting boxes. We also have little windows here. And well, this, we have a little block in there that allows us to close them in the winter if needed. I know there's plenty more I can go over in detail of types of items we use, things I wish I would have known before I bought chickens, and all of the fails and of course predator issues we do have predator fence along the side here it's basically um, one inch cloth out about 24 inches out so if anything decides to dig in it will not get in i think that's probably the number one thing is of importance of protecting your ch chickens is making sure you have some kind of uh, predator guard netting down and we, my husband and, and son recently put down hurricane straps because we are coming into hurricane season. And they basically put down these little, um, I'm not even sure what they're called, but backfilled them with concrete. They probably went in about three feet or more into the ground. Oh, these little things are what they put in there. And our coop will be secure. 
don't have to worry about our chickens flying away along with our coop uh, during the summer while we're gone. And I also wanted to show you guys that I will be starting a chicken garden here soon. We've got a ton of wood chips that we moved from our front food forest up here. And um, this will be my pile of wood chips. And as some of them compost on the bottom, it will be ready for a garden. Um, I've had problems with our chickens getting into our garden. So I figured if I make them their own garden, maybe they'll stay out of mine. So, Stay tuned for that. I'll most likely be planting it in the fall. Um, most likely some collard greens and kale because that's what I feed them anyways from my garden. And um, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know.